probably because it's not simply chest pain. Women's heart attack signs are actually missed in over half of women. Monday is Wear Red Canada, a national event to raise awareness about women's heart and vascular health. Heart disease is on the rise and it is the leading cause of death for women worldwide. To make matters more complicated, heart attack symptoms are different in women than they are in men. Women's hearts are different than men's and because of this, women have different risk factors and symptoms of heart disease and different heart disease altogether compared to men. Although both men and women present with uh, chest pain, typically when they're having a cardiac event, men have what we call that Hollywood heart attack. So typically it's a man clutching his chest in excruciating pain. Women have chest pain as well, but they're much more likely to have a constellation of symptoms in addition. So things like nausea, sweatiness, not sleeping well, extreme fatigue. Much of the lack of awareness in women's heart disease is a result of a lack of female representation in heart health studies. The way we diagnose women, the way we treat women is based on the male model, which definitely isn't the answer. So the good news is, is we're, we're making gains. We're moving forward with women's heart health research. So hopefully in the future, hopefully in the near future, we're at a position where we can personalize a woman's care and use female research to identify and treat heart disease. The good news is that it's possible for women to reduce their risk of developing heart disease by up to 80%. Dr. Demonsky recommends a healthy lifestyle, including staying active, eating fruits and vegetables, managing stress levels, and getting regular checkups. So I think taking this to heart, no pun intended, um, is really important at moving, moving forward with uh, achieving better heart health for women in Canada. For City News, I'm Emma Kilburn-Smith.